And here is Commander Mark Kelly, our 134 mission commander, making his fourth flight on the space shuttle. He's uh, logged a total of 38 days in space. His latest flight was in 2008 on uh, STS-124. Going over to our pilot now, Greg Johnson. He's making his second space flight, previously also piloted on STS-123 in 2008. He's logged over 4,000 hours in 40 different type of aircraft. This is Mike Fink, mission specialist number one. This is his third space flight, but his first space shuttle flight. He was launched previously from Russia on Soyuz spacecraft, and he's logged 365 days in space with over 26 hours on six spacewalks. Mission specialist Greg Shamatov. This is his second space flight, but he's already logged 183 days in space aboard the space station. He's Canadian-born from Montreal. And there's Drew Foistel, mission specialist number three, making his second trip into space. He served as uh, an astronaut for more than a decade, working on both the space shuttle and the uh, space station branches in Houston. He flew on the fifth and final HST servicing mission. And Roberto Vittori. He's mission specialist number two. He was selected as an astronaut by the European Space Agency. He's from Terrible, Italy. And he has flown to the International Space Station twice. And here come our astronauts leaving the suit-up room bound for the elevator. They will take them down to the astronaut van, the Astrovan. This is the same elevator that all astronauts since Apollo have used to leave the crew quarters and go out to the launch pad. They allow another 10 minutes or so for the crew to get off the Astrovan and look around a little bit and uh, head up the fixed service structure and then begin boarding the space shuttle. So that allows for about a half an hour for the entire process from the time they leave the astronaut quarters until they start boarding. And there they go.